What is up, everyone, and welcome to another Rust electrical tutorial. I'm Niceish, and today we are talking the heli door. I'm going to show you three versions of this. They're real, real simple, um, adding a timer and then adding landing lights. And I'll give you a demonstration of how I set this up, how it's set up on my one of my go to bases with a two sided um, heli garage. Um, all right, so the, the basic setup is very, very simple. You need just an HBHF sensor and the door controller for your um, heli garage door. and you just need two volts, which the default output of the branch out on the branch switch is two volts. So that's perfect. And so all you do is run power out of your branch out, um, your branch, your branch out to the power in on your HBHF sensor. You're going to want to set your HBHF sensor to exclude authorized and include others. This means it's going to not trigger for people that are not authorized on your TC. And it's going to trigger for people who are authorized on your TC, ergo you flying your mini. And so the power out of that is simply going to run over to the input on your garage door, your door controller. And this thing is going to open immediately because I'm standing right here in front of it. And there you go. That's it. Um, it's very, it's just that simple. And if you, I'm going to make myself invisible so this thing doesn't keep triggering on me. If you want to add the other side, you simply add a branch. You've probably heard me say this a million times. Uh, if you've watched any of my videos, so I'm going to daisy chain this off the first. So power out of the first is going to run to the power in on your second branch. And then I'm going to just do the same exact thing I did here for this other side. And I'm just going to run two volts over to the power in on my, uh, on my, uh, HBHF, HBHF sensor here, and then of course run this out, the, out, the output of that over to the door controller. If I uh, make myself visible again, both doors are gonna open, great. And so it really is that simple. One of the problems of this, of course, is that uh, let's say you're flying in, it's very quick. So once you open the door, uh, it's gonna power. That one wouldn't you know, normally open because it's on the other side. As soon as I pass through, you're, you're not in, the, you, it can't see you anymore, and so it closes the door. So I'll make myself invisible. So that is fine. Uh, you can actually get away with that just fine. You can drive the heli in, you know, and it'll close. It, you can probably make it in time, no problem. Uh, but let's say you want to add a little bit of extra time on that and you don't like that it's so quick, uh, you can add a timer. And so the way to do this is just a little bit of rewiring. It's not very difficult. I'll show you guys that next. Okay. So we're going to start with our branch out just like we did before. And, but this time, instead of running to the HBHF sensor, we're going to run that to the timer and the timer. I have this set to five seconds just because that's good for a tutorial video. Um, but you might set this to 10 or 15 seconds, depending on how long you want this open, depending on how fast it takes you on average to get your mini into the garage. And so the output of this timer is, is going to run to the uh, door controller over here, like so, and then to trigger this, we're just going to wire up the HBHF sensor this time, but this time we're going to send it to the toggle on. And so I'm just going to use the same thing here. We'll do these in green. The branch out of our second branch, also two volts, is going to run straight over to the input on your um, HBHF sensor, exclude authorized, include um, others. And I'm going to run the output of that right over, oops, right over to the uh, toggle on in your on your timer. And so now what's going to happen is this is going to detect me. It's going to initiate the timer, which will run for five seconds and then close the door. So I can make myself visible. It detected me. It's running the timer. It's going to stay open for the for the time you ever you set it for, and then it's going to close. So if you set this to, you know, 10 seconds and you get detected here, I'll back up a little bit and I come back in. It's going to detect me. It's going to run for 10 seconds. It'll just hold that door for the amount of time that you want it to be on for. So I'll make myself invisible here and that's it. And so uh, if you want to do it this way, that's the, the, the I'd say this is the more common way to do it. Um, and to if you wanted to add a second side, if you have a, a double sided like I usually do, all you do is add two more branches. There are, of course, other ways to do this. Um, I like to do the, I, I try to keep my videos consistent. So I always run my branches this way. I'm um, to show you that, you know, the best practice is to keep your circuits, um, you know, from some base jumping point instead of, you know, you wouldn't want to like daisy chain the rest of this off of this first one. You could, but if something gets destroyed, everything stops working. So for this next one, it'd be the same exact thing. I would just run, we'll do the same color scheme here. The blue would run to our timer and the timer out is gonna to run to the input of our door controller, just like the other side, there we go. Uh, we'll go ahead and just set this one to 10 also, since that one is. And then we're gonna run the other one in green, this will be for the HBHF sensor. We'll run that over to our HBHF sensor, also two volts, one to power it, one to pass through, 
and loop back around to our uh, timer toggle on. And there you go. If I make myself visible, both doors open, they're going to hold for 10 seconds and then they'll close and that's it. And so I'm going to make myself invisible so they don't keep going off and that's all you got to do. Now that is, you know, I'd say these first two, the second one's the most common way. This is the best way to do it. Um, but you know, from this point, you actually can very easily add landing lights, which is something that I think some people don't think about. And it's very, very useful if you're coming in, you forgot your goggles, night landing, whatever. Um, and all you have to do is daisy chain off of your door controller lights. And so I've set up on each of these five simple red lights that are daisy chained together. So we've got the output, the pass through of one is going to the input of the next and so forth to the bottom. And so all I'm going to do is just connect my uh, output of my um, the pass through on my on my door controller. I'm going to run that to the input of the first light. I can do that to both sides. Just pass through of your door controller is going to run to the input on your first light, like so. There we go. And then all you have to do is just account for the volts you just added. So we had two because we had one timer and one. Uh, door controller, so you only need two volts, but now we have those two and then three, four, five, six, and seven. So we're gonna have to add seven, not add seven, we're gonna make this seven, add five, uh, because we need to account for the greater draw that we're putting on this. So if you add seven, now if I make myself visible, it's going to detect me, it's gonna keep everything, including the lights, running for 10 seconds and make myself invisible again. And there you go. You've got landing lights that only turn on when you get there. Um, and so, or get, you know, within range of the HBHF sensor. And so um, that's awesome. So one other thing you can do, and this is the final sort of bonus, bonus add on here um, that I have hooked on this, hooked up on here. If I make myself visible here, I approach my base, the landing lights go, you know, everything triggers just like I built down there. But also I've got these two lights inside that light up the inside just enough to keep me, uh, you know, lit up while I'm parking the parking the mini, but keep it sort of dark in here so no one can, you know, you know, snipe me from far or whatever. And I've got it set up to where no matter what side you come in on this landing system, uh, these lights come on. And so I'll show you how I did that. So I'll make myself invisible again. And it's pretty simple, actually. You just have to use an OR switch. If you're not really familiar with the AND, OR, and XOR switch, I've got a video. You can see the link above explaining how these work. But the OR switch, you know, the quick and dirty is, is that it'll take input from A or B or at the same time, and it'll pass. If it's two, two inputs, it'll pass the greater of the two. If it's one, it'll pass that one. So it doesn't really care. And so that works in our favor in this, in this case because we can have the 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 we can add these two lights to both sides of this circuit so such that doesn't matter what side you come in those two interior lights will come on these of course could be switched out for regular um, ceiling lights whatever you want i just like it to be a little darker so uh and all you have to do there is from the pass through of the last light in your chain is you just run that i'll just run that i'll keep that in yellow here let's see we'll pop this down a little bit to make it there we go and i will just jumper that up here and there you go, that's one side. And we do the exact same thing for the other side here. We're gonna jumper this down here and we're gonna run that up here to the same, about the same spot, there we go. Okay, and that's it. And so all you have to do is account for this extra stuff you just hooked onto this daisy chain. Remember we had two in the beginning when it was just the timer and the door controller. And then we had seven because it was three, four, five, six, seven. But now it's after this one, which is seven, it's eight, nine, 10. And so we have to change each of these to 10 to account for the new things we've put on here for these two blue lines, the timer lines. These green uh, HBHF lines never change because the HBHF sensor only needs one to power. And then we only care about one passing um, the HBHF sensor can do other things, but that's not important for this circuit. Uh, and so there you go. We set these DH to 10. And now if I, if I am here, I'll, I'll fly over here so that I only trigger on one side. And so you'll notice those two lights came on because the OR switch was like, I got power from one side. Uh, and if I get far enough away, that's going to shut here in a moment. And then if I come in from this side, this side will activate. It'll also turn on those two lights that could be the interior lights. And importantly, if both are triggered for some reason, those lights still come on because the OR switch doesn't care if it gets one or two inputs. And that is it. That's how you make uh, the auto heli door in three different varieties. Um, and so the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just hop in my little mini here and through, and then we're gonna do a, a demonstration of coming and what this looks like in the dark and through the power of, you know, magic of admin, it will be dark. All right, let's fire this thing up and 
do this demo. So I'm just gonna back away a little bit and I will turn off my uh, Vanish mod here so it'll detect me. There we go. So as I approach, what I generally like to do is look for the, lo the light on the lock. It gives me a general bearing. And then once I get close enough, I'll be detected. My landing lights will come on. There we go. And there we go. And as I pull in, you can see I've got the two interior lights going. Kind of help me, uh, you know, keep things all straight in here. And then the door is going to close behind me. And the cool thing is, is that I can also, if I wanted to leave, you can open the door. And as you leave, you'll be detected. And because you're detected, it goes off. And I can take off here. If I turn around, you'll see that the lights the the timer is also going to end up shutting the door as well so this works really great whether you're entering or exiting your base and if it's nighttime you have plenty of visibility not to wreck your mini that folks is about it if you guys have any questions or comments you can leave them below otherwise you can get me on my discord see you later <laughs>